I want to stay zoomed in here though and and appreciate the in first contact encounter with the spiky ball. Zibilium, what was it called? Oh, he's got it. He's literally got it. Oh, this guy's a hero. We're going to build statues to this Norp right here. We've got a real, real Factorio going. I, in fact, I compared it to Factorio last time. It's got that feel for some reason, even though it's completely different. I think it's time to prestige and spin some of these points. So let's see what happens. Oh, it did reset our progress. Oh, okay, here we go. Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is the Norp Apologue. And as you can see, we are back for our second episode of this fun and addictive little idler slash clicker slash city civilization builder. So as you can see, we've got a respectable little village going here on either side of our resource pile. Yes, check it out. All that we've built all the way to the talent stone over here, which we haven't unlocked anything yet but we're just getting started so i'm really excited to spin some of the accumulated shards you can see in between episodes we've uh, we've made some progress here i let things idle a little bit while i did some work around the house and just waited for my norps to do the work for me and as you can see actually we've got an interesting little notification there's a spark here it says the rock fights back your pile just compressed and out of from the rock came a mysterious spiky ball and it might be a good idea to build the rock analysis lab if you haven't already so we'll dismiss that and let's come down to our smash club no we want the house of shards nope we already have the rock analysis lab we want the rock analysis lab there it is so for this one what can we do frequency the mysterious spiky, here it is. This is what we want. The Zybelium collection. The mysterious spiky ball floating above the rock has been dubbed Zybelium, and Norp scientists move to attempt collection of it. Requires new equipment, and that's gonna cost. So let's see what it does for 101 Norp. 100, and we've got one Norp slot left now. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he's taken off his, in his experimental flying machine. He's going to discover what this spiky ball is all about. Let's see if we can help him out. Bring him, bring him a little closer. There you go, buddy. We brought a little closer to you. So you can see our piles looking pretty good. If I wish I could, okay, I want to get rid of these. There we go. So our collection rate, I think we need to boost that up a bit. We need a few runners. So I want to stay zoomed in here though and, and appreciate the in first contact encounter with the spiky ball. Zibilium, what was it called? Oh, he's got it. He's literally got it. Oh, this guy's a hero. We're going to build statues to this Norp right here. He is the Perseus of all Norp society. We love him and cherish him. You better not shoot his balloon. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. So we've got the GPL over here, the Norp Propulsion Lab. Those bombers are pretty sick, but... Like I said, I need to spend a little bit of money over here on our runners. So let's focus on them for a second while our little uh, balloon boy picks up the spiky ball. We can afford one more runner and we can definitely boost their speed. That's expensive. Oh, look at the speed. That made a huge difference though. Look how quick they are now. Wow. Okay. Oh, here we got some more. The Zybelium has been collected. Zybelium, or Zybe, I like that better, is a scarce resource that can only be generated during compression events. Use it to unlock powerful upgrades. Choose carefully. Thank you. Building unlocked Academy, Garden, Rocket Arrows, uh, Zybe Arrows, Time Shift Impact, Robotics, Combo Chance. Wow. Oh, so here it is. Rocket Analysis. Let's see. Weak Spot Frequency. No matter what I want to do, I need some some building space. Let's see, some of these actually do provide it, but for instance, this one provides three, but I still need two available NORPs. So let's come over to this, build some serious housing. What do you say? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, look at this. We got a NORP skyscraper. I love it. 
They're probably building some over here too. Yes, looking good, looking good. All right, so now we got to play it pretty careful with the shards we have. We don't have a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? Oh, am I able to spend some of these or no? Now, I think we need to prestige to use our points. And I believe we have two of them now, right? Or is it just one? Oh, that's the Zy Yeah, the Zybellium. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we've got two points, I believe, accrued, which we'll have to prestige for. I haven't done that. We'll probably wait and see. But um, things are going pretty smoothly right now. Let's see. What do we want to work on next? What's my balance? I wish I could... Oh, I can move this. Nice. That's so great. Moving these windows where we want. I love that feature. Yeah, I can see why this game has overwhelmingly positive reviews for sure. So it looks like our damage is kind of all over the place. Ooh, weak spots. Let's let's rec let's work on our slam club maybe. Let's see. Combo. Huh. Yeah, I haven't done any of these because it's got a 0% chance. So we can easily afford some of that. Oh, wow. It's getting super expensive. That jumped up real quick. All right. So we got two jumps. Let's do it. They all look at the price a bit. Yeah, big increase on price there. Okay, I've got 12, 12 available. Should we go for another slammer? I think we should, since I just spent some money on like upgrading them. Now, what is this? Oh, I can use my Zype here. So it says choose wisely, though. Let's just wait. Let's see. How about this archery range? Ice arrows are good. Fire arrows. So does it shoot both of them, then, I assume? Let's just grab it. They're pretty cheap, so... Oh, and rocket arrows requires two people in our... That might be a good investment, right? I don't know. You can see the damage is still fluctuating quite a bit while collection is steady. So I think we should be focused on this side still. Let's move over to the GPL. The bombers are pretty cool. So this one requires that side. Damn, it's expensive. I'll go for one more bomber. Now, rock analysis lab. I feel like we should do the frequency here. Weak spots are pretty lucrative. Yeah, weak spots appearing at greater frequency. That's what we want, basically. Yes, it overdrive bars filled by an equivalent of five clicks. Okay, oh, it's on fire. Check it out. There's a weak spot. All right, let's get it. It's going wild. Nice. There's also been some like colorization, it seems like since we've been upgrading and stuff. I like that, I like that. All right, so we're rocking and rolling here. I guess I could help him out. I don't even want to. I feel like my efforts now, manual efforts, are just completely useless. We've got a real, real Factorio going. I, in fact, I compared it to Factorio last time. It's got that feel for some reason, even though it's completely different. But let's see here. All right, the Slam Club, we're pretty up on. I, I think I need the how let's go for these two since they're relatively cheap they do take some people but that's okay that's why I upgraded so many houses so that's cool all right where are they here's the Coco Cafe let's get a mountaineer okay and what does this do improve digging Dang, this takes three norps digging with that's pretty expensive. Okay, so I don't really want to... I'm just going to kind of test it out, see how these guys work. See the Mountaineer. There he is right there. There's the Mountaineer. Look, he's throwing it. Oh, so he helps just... He doesn't dig. He just moves it a bit farther, makes things more efficient. He's like a middleman. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense now why his talent point basically just brings an extra person, an extra Norp with him, help him out. We were looking through our talent tree at some point. We'll do that again. We'll kind of peruse this because that helps, you know, pass a little bit of time. And then you can uh, plan out what you want to do with your talent points. But looks like we do now have enough for our frequency. Let's do that. So when do we get another compression event, you know? I want to boost that possibly. What's the garden? Norps love flowers. Besides looking pretty, flowers may also have some utility that can be extracted through the combined powers of chemistry and zybelium. Norps, we need to cook. Interesting. So that definitely, hmm, interesting. I don't know what to do. Gun versus rock. We should probably save up for this 10K. Might be a good idea. 
Let's see. It looks like our damage is... Again, it fluctuates, but it's pretty good. Ooh, the weak points make up for it, too. But those... We want more frequency. Damn, that's expensive. 124k. We're pretty far from that. I feel like I should probably use the Zybelium, you know? Teleportation. Upgrade allows runners to teleport instead of walking. It may significantly cut down, on, cut down on delivery times if you have a lot of low range damage. Runner, teleport. See, we don't need that necessarily. I'd love to spend it on that, but. Oh wow, housing's getting real expensive. Makes sense, because I clicked it like 30 times. Oh, okay, here's our robotics, nice. So this is a collector. Get yourself a drone, but be careful they're hungry. Drones pick a fixed amount of shards based on their current tier. Drones consume 60% of picked up shards to sustain themselves. Drones die during compression events, but from the ashes something new is born. Baby drones who die the following compression event. Drones may become more expensive every compression event. You can kill drones by clicking on them, but that does not spawn babies. Interesting. We're going to hold off on the drone. Like I say, our collection side of things is pretty solid. At this point, I can do capacity a bit more, right? Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I just blew through most of our saved up stuff, but there we go. Capacity will help with that. So, all right, I think it's time for a little bit of idle time. What do you guys say? I'm going to I'm just going to let things go. I might monitor it and click on some weak points occasionally, but let's say we'll set a target for 10k cuz that'll open up gun versus rock, which is a whole new thing, I think. All right, we have achieved 10,000 crystals. There we go. Yep, our shards, I should call them. So that's going to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and open this up. I've only got one spot left or one NORP left. Let's see, where are they building it? Gun to rock. Gun versus rock. Here we go. So what do we want? Oh, what? So it says, not enough shards. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's read it. A NORP with a gun. What could go wrong? Rifle NORPs shoot bullets that deal 5 damage with a range of 0 to 10. Bullets deal raw damage. Let's see. Which means they are not affected by the multiplier. Bullets double their damage on compression events. Yep, we definitely want one. And this next one requires our Zybe if we go... Gattle Norp, so Gatling Norp, empowered by Zybilium, and a rigorous selection process. The Gattle Norp is able to withstand the heat and knockback of the Gatling gun. Bullets deal 2 damage with a range of 0 to 5. Bullets deal raw damage, which means they're not affected by the multiplier. Bullets double their damage on compression events. Look at this, 2.3 million. Dang, so this is a big one. Yeah, hopefully that gunner guy, though. The rifle Norp. Let's see, where's he at? I see him. There he is. <laughs> oh, he's got some knock. Oh, oh, we got ourselves a weak point. Let's hit that. Boom. So I'm starting to think, and I'm not 100%, but yeah, this is our compression bar. Indicates your progress to a compression event, which occurs when the pile grows tall enough. Compression events increase your tier. So we need to basically be overproducing as much as possible is what we want to do right now i've got my runners pretty well beefed up so at this point i'm not going to touch them i'm going to work more on this side of things obviously well we've got ourselves oh we can do a balloon gunner why not equip the balloon with a gun so that it can shoot the rock when not busy picking up Zybe? Yes, there's a good reason not to buy the, there's, wait, there is no good reason not to buy this upgrade. Do it. The balloon now shoots rifle bullets when idle. There it is. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, weak spot. So yeah, we need to, I need to get this just huge. I need a huge pile. 
I also hired a couple more mountaineers and I was looking at the archery rings. We can switch it between ice and fire and also we can turn meditation off and on. So there's a couple different things. I didn't realize that right away, but now I see it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, still haven't spent our first Zybe point here, which, what is this? Oh, there can only be one. If a mountaineer starts digging while at the highest point of the pile, it is crowned king and digs twice as fast. The king can be crowned again up to four times for total 16 dig speed. Interesting. Yeah, that's fun, but that's not what I want to spend my Zybe on. I'm almost tempted to say it would be this, the Gatling Norp. That would probably be pretty darn good for like yeah yeah rocket arrows might be interesting too a much needed upgrade to the standard arrow all regular arrows become rocket arrows and here it's the range of rockets unlike regular rockets these arrows benefit from the multiplier does not have does not leave behind an arrow oh we got a weak spot there we go oh that helped with our compression our runners, man, they're just too good, too good. That's okay. We're gonna keep the pressure on. We got 5.6K. Let's see. I probably need to actually build some more housing, don't I? Teleportation, no, I don't need that. There we go, wow. It's getting real expensive to house these Norps, man. I tell you what. So also the Slam Club. What's caught? We could do one of these right away and it would probably drastically help. Let's read it. Zybilium Enhanced Skull Caps is sure to provide a nice bonus for the slammers. During a combo event, every third hit gets five times damage with range. See, this is what we need, yeah, to use it on our production. So we'll get more Zybilium down the road. Okay, so the fire breath says if you can put fuel inside jetpacks, why can't you put fuel inside Norps too? Slammers will now breathe fire on their seventh combo. Deals 30 times slam. So the question is, I think we'll go with one of these. Which one though? Let's do combo power. Boom. Okay, we just spent our Zybilium. That better be huge. Should I buy more of these? Two more slammers, probably. Okay. Yep, let's get this compression. We need that. Look at our mountaineers. <laughs> uh, it's futile. I want to keep them pretty limited, I think. I mean, it's an important job, I guess, but... Yeah, they're not actually adding to the pile at this point. In fact, they're making it easier to pick up, but that's okay. So what is this? Oh, this is ice? Yeah, yeah, because we're freezing it. So what does the ice say exactly? It's got a lot of different stuff. Rock freezes after being struck by six ice arrows. After the four second duration, the ice shatters for two times the damage dealt while the rocks is frozen with range. Additional ice arrows do not increase the duration, but it said deal double damage. After shattering, the rock is immune to ice arrows for four seconds. Fire shatters ice immediately, but does not prevent ice buildup. Ice arrows deal 7 damage with a range of 0 to 10. This is the longest tool tip in the game. <laughs> I was going to say, that is a long one. So that's interesting. So it's almost like as soon as it unfreezes, you probably want to try and switch over to fires. Fire arrows for a short time. Or you could break it at any point with the fire. But, I mean, that is if you want to micromanage things down to the last arrow. But I think I'm okay on that. Let's see here. So... Boy, we're, we're slowly getting there with this compression, but it's going to take a while, man. We're going to have to have an incredibly big pile for this. Damn. I think, should we think about prestiging? And I don't know, does it start us all over? It says, prestige resets your progress. So yeah, we would probably start all over, right? I assume. I'm not really sure. Let's just keep going like this. Maybe we can get one more compression event if i'm really persistent here oh check this out so i was just over here looking at some of the buildings while i was waiting 
thinking about building another house, which I'm still going to do. But here's this. Look at this break time for 9.6K. Runners are in a constant state of fatigue. And now they hear of mountaineers that can take breaks. Maybe the runners deserve a break too. Until the next compression event, runners significantly reduce their movement speed. So this is what we want to trigger our compression. That's cool. It's pretty pricey. I wonder, is it going to go up if I use it too? So it also says after the compression event, they gain two times increase to their carrying capacity and move at their normal speed again. They also gain the ability to take breaks freely. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're going to do that. So it looks like it was a one-time purchase. Interesting. So they are moving a lot more slowly. I've got two extra spots here. I was thinking about just going for two more slammers since I just basically invested an entire, you know, special Zeb, Zeb or whatever. Yeah, that'll help. Oh, I'm watching it. Watching that bar fill up. It's frozen. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that was a big bump right there. And like now I should switch the arrows, huh? There we go. Switch to the fire. I'm going to go back and forth. Like I said, try and micromanage. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Oh, boys. It has been quite a while. And the struggle here in the Norp civilization is real. This compression event, <laughs> it's doing its best to avoid happening. I tell you what, I think we probably have to prestige so we can start using some of our talent points. I don't know. In fact... Yeah, we might not actually like acquire that many more points. I'm not sure how it works, but like I said, I'm starting to think this isn't going to happen. It's getting there. It seems close, but even, I mean, as they get closer and closer to the stash, they're working quicker and quicker despite their debuff, their rest break time. But yeah, I say let's go for a prestige and see what happens. Uh, I don't know. It almost seems like a waste at this point. I mean, a waste of the time I've taken, you know, the fact that we bought break time. Tell you what, we're almost to 10K. Let's see. I've been looking at hiring another rifle guy at 10K. We'll add that on there. Should happen any moment. And perhaps I'll do like another bomber because you can see I've got two more Norps. Bombers are doing pretty good on damage. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's not bombers. That's these guys. Yeah, yeah, that's our slam club. Honestly, I should probably just do another one of these guys. Yeah, we'll do another slammer. All right, now we've got 10K for the rifle Norp. Okay, so I've added just a little bit more collection. Let's see. I, I haven't given up just yet. Maybe we can push it here. Just take a little time. I have confidence. Oh, 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 there we go. Got to keep up with the weak spots. But, oh, man, like I said, it's a real struggle here. But I'm going to keep going for a little while longer and see if we can pull off this third compression event. Oh boy, well, I've convinced myself now that it's just simply not going to happen. I think it's time to prestige and spend some of these points. So let's see what happens. We'll push uh, prestige. Okay, talent stone to the left to see what we do with our points. Um. Oh, I think it reset here. Hold to prestige, right? Oh, it did reset our progress. Oh, okay, here we go. Interesting. So we start again, but now we have three points there. I see it. I see it. Okay. So we can go through and kind of read. We, we looked at motivation. Slammers will not be ridiculed. So slammers get two times the damage, 5% chance to combo, trigger the effects of meditation without having to meditate. That one's really good. Hiking buddy. So that helps the mountaineers. This one is the runners. Runners evaluate if they should work harder. And then we've got extra housing. That's a good one. 
Every seventh house you build builds another one for free. I think I'm going to do that one. Yeah, uh, so that's two points we got left. Bathe in fire, ignite the packs. Bombers gain significant increase to ascent speed after bombing the rock while it's on fire. Interesting. Popcorn. What, so what is this? Strength in numbers, the more the merrier. Increase the multiplier by 0.1 for every four employed NORPs. You get one bonus NORP every 10 minutes. Unlo oh, that's cool. Unlocks auto housing, which allows you to automatically build housing when you have enough shards. Okay, so we've got that. That's already checked. Yeah, we've progressed. So five points will get us here, I assume, or maybe unlock the next one. I see. Okay. So what does this over here do? How do we unlock this milestone requirement? You need two more talent points to unlock the milestone below. Got it. That'd be inspiration. Okay. So let's see. Popcorn fire damage now generates shards that fly much, much farther, allowing all, almost all the way to the stash. Okay, bullet breath. If you can put fire inside the mouth of a Norp, fire f with fire breath unlocked, slammers will stray spray Gatler bullets onto the seventh combo. Hmm, super hot. The power of the sun in the palm of your hand. Fire deals two and a half damage. Fire damage occurs six times faster. Then we've got time shift delay. The runners and the arrow maker want in on the timey wimey thing that bombers do bombers with makeshift or with time shift impact will propel all runners and the arrow maker forward in time by half a second whenever the effect occurs okay interesting one and we've got explosive exposition you won't believe what the rock is hiding it's weak spots hit Hits by grenades reduce the time until the next weak spot appearance by three seconds. That's good. You know, I think as a base, we should start with the slammer. Let's go with the slammer motivation. That one's good. All right, now I got one more. And I was thinking, where's the one? I think it's this one. If you could put fire inside. So with fire breath unlocked, slammers will spray Gatler bullets on the seventh combo so when we unlock fire breath with our slammers they'll just become that much more powerful i feel like that's a good combo if we're going for the slammers you know so there we go okay and we will apply those very good okay and it keeps it over here so then i assume we would just get started yeah slam of the rocks we've got three norps here ready to go of course, they have no, no shards yet, so we just start off normally from scratch. But now we've got our extra talents locked in. Interesting. Okay, maybe we can go for some serious compression events on this one. Get to the third, possibly the fourth compression events with our newest uh, bonuses. I'm not sure. We will see, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. But you know what? This game has definitely caught my attention. So I'll probably be doing some more of these. I wonder how you guys like it. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have picked it up, if you're playing it, what you've achieved so far. And hit that like button while you're down there. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And of course, I want to give a big shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys for your donations. It means quite a bit, and I will see you all on the next episode.